Chapter 7. In answer to those who inquire whether the Holy Mother of God bore two natures, and whether two natures hung upon the cross. Ashenton and Jenaton, written with one, new, and meaning uncreated and created, refer to nature, but Ashenton and Genaton, that is to say, unbegotten and begotten, as the double, new, indicates, refer not to nature but to subsistence. The divine nature then is Ashenitos, that is to say, uncreate, but all things that come after the divine nature are Ashenita, that is, created. In the divine and uncreated nature, therefore, the property of being Ashenitan or unbegotten is contemplated in the Father, for he was not begotten, that of being Ashenitan or begotten in the Son, for he has been eternally begotten of the Father, and that of procession in the Holy Spirit. Moreover, of each species of living creatures, the first members were Ashenyaneta, but not Ashenyata, for they were brought into being by their Maker, but were not the offspring of creatures like themselves. For Genesis is creation, while Genesis or begetting is in the case of God, the origin of a co essential Son arising from the Father alone, and in the case of bodies, the origin of a co-essential subsistence arising from the contact of male and female. And thus we perceive that begetting refers not to nature but to subsistence. For if it did refer to nature, to Jainatan and to Ajainatan, i.e. the properties of being begotten and unbegotten, could not be contemplated in one and the same nature. Accordingly, the Holy Mother of God bore a subsistence revealed in two natures, being begotten on the one hand, by reason of its divinity, of the Father timelessly, and, at last, on the other hand, being incarnated of her in time and born in the flesh. But if our interrogators should hint that he who is begotten of the Holy Mother of God is two natures, we reply, yea. He is two natures, for he is in his own person God and man. And the same is to be said concerning the crucifixion and resurrection and ascension. For these refer not to nature but to subsistence. Christ then, since he is in two natures, suffered and was crucified in the nature that was subject to passion. For it was in the flesh and not in his divinity that he hung upon the cross. Otherwise, let them answer us, when we ask if two natures died. No, we shall say. And so two natures were not crucified but Christ was begotten, that is to say, the divine word having become man was begotten in the flesh, was crucified in the flesh, suffered in the flesh, while his divinity continued to be impassable. Thank you for listening to this presentation. If you found it interesting and informative, I would humbly ask that you help support this ministry of spreading the knowledge of Christianity. Simply subscribe to this channel, give the video a thumbs up, and click on the notification bell. Any comments you may leave will be appreciated. You can also help spread the message of salvation by sharing this video on your social media pages. May God keep and bless you.